Hello and welcome to lecture 3 of the series of Excel video tutorials for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use function keys for easing up your task in Excel. There are total 12 function keys starting from F1 to F12 and each function key has its own functionality. Now just for the facilitation of students, I have already created a list of the functionalities of these function keys which you may note down later on after watching this video. One thing you need to remember before watching this video is that you need to press these function keys alone in order to get the desired functionality or the de uh, described fun functionality in this video. That is you do not need to press any other key like shift or control while pressing the F1 key. Okay, so uh, let us start now. Here you can see we have these 12 function keys. F1. As you can see, uh, by pressing F1 key, it will actually open up the help window. Here I press the F1 key and you can see that it has opened me the Excel help window. It has given me a search, uh, search bar and in this search bar, I can write anything related to Excel. Uh, and it will give me the related information or any related article to help me sort out whatever problem I am facing. For example, if I am having some difficulty in writing up or using the sum function, I may write the sum over here and press enter and it will return me all the related information uh, to that sum function. For example, the first one here you see, if we click on it, it will return me the syntax, the remarks, I mean the related information to that sum function and I can just read it out and I can figure it out that whatever problem I am facing, hopefully I will get the answer to this question. And uh, if we do not use the search box, it uh, has uh, by default given, given me some related articles uh, related for example here you can see related to chart macros customization i can just click on it and it may for example if i click on charts it will give me two options creating chart and formatting chart if i am having some problem in creating chart i may click on it and then it has further options overview of the for example create a chart and now it has given me all the details so in this way f1 function is used to uh, redirect us to excel help document i am closing it Okay, the second one is the F2. F2 is actually used uh, to go into the edit mode without using the mouse. For example, if I have written 100 over there and uh, without using the mouse, I want to edit the cell uh, E3 in which 100 is written. I may just use the uh, arrow key to go there and press F2 and you can see it has turned to edit mode. Now I can, for example, move, change it to 1000 or whatever. So uh, if I want to edit a cell, I want to edit the contents of the cell without using the mouse, I'll take the, uh, the uh, cell selector to that cell and just press F2 key and it will just uh, uh, open the edit mode for that cell. I remove this one. Okay, uh, now F3 is used to for paste name formula. Uh, now in order to understand it, remember that you can name a single cell or you can name a range of the cell. For example, I write 500 in the cell F3 and I want to rename this cell. For example, you can see that uh, this is F3. When I click on it in the name box, F3 is written. I change its name to total marks and press enter. Uh, uh, okay, I will, I may... I am not allowed to use, I guess, space there, total marks, uh, here it is. Now, you can see if I click on this cell, F4, it is showing me F4, but when I click on this one, F3, it is showing me total marks. Now, somewhere else in, the, um, in this sheet, for example, over here, if I want to uh, add a formula, which uses this total marks. So I'll write, for example, I uh, want to actually add 100 to this total marks, which is 500. So I will write equal to, and I just click on F3. When I click on F3, it is now giving me all the named cells or the ranges of cell. As you can see that the uh, name of the cell, which I have this F3 cell is total marks. So it has given me uh, the facility of using this directly so I press ok so total marks plus 100 it should show me 600 so here it is it's showing me 600 similarly what I can do is that uh, for example this complete I can uh, uh, select this complete range and I may name it function 
keys okay and press enter now if i am here i press f3 key so it is going to show me all the named ranges of cell i may select function keys and press enter so it will show me the edit mode the corresponding value remember that it will work only in that range for example over here i write a f3 it is showing me the range or the named ranges i press function key and press enter and shows go to it will not work here it will not work here it will work in only this range remember that right and as far as a single named cell is concerned so you if you have named a cell you may use it anywhere in any formula in the excel sheet okay i hope it is clear now i am removing it okay the next thing is f4 key f4 key is used for repeating the action for example what i have i write uh, two things over here pakistan india what i do i click on this cell the pakistan and make it bold by over here now this is an action which i have performed i have actually uh, make this cell uh, uh, i have formatted this the writing in the cell and i have applied the bold operation on it right if i want to repeat the same operation on this cell so there is no need to again go to that menu and uh, select bold from there i can simply press f4 and the same operation has occurred again so in order to repeat and recently performed action we can simply press f4 the next thing is go to uh, or the f5 key f5 key is actually it opens the go to box it helps us to uh, go to any place in our sheet for example um, i'm here i press f5 now it is go uh, first of all it will show me or it will give me the named cells or the named range of cells if i click for example if i click on function keys it will take me directly to that uh, function keys right and i may use this reference to for example i click it again f5 and in the reference i may write for example m3 and okay and now it has taken me to m3 right so uh, f5 key is used to take you to any other place or any named cell or any named range or uh, range of cells right okay uh, the next thing is uh, f6 which is actually used to shift between the pan remember that there are three pans it considered one is this, this pan in which you actually write your data or whatever numbers okay and the next pan is this pan this this pan you will see and the third pan is this entire area now remember that right now i am in this pan if i press f6 you can see just uh, wait a minute right now i am in this pan if i press f6 you can see it has taken me to this pan now by arrow keys i am actually moving in this area if you can see this area look at the my mouse look at my cursor i am in this pen i am using arrow keys and here you can see i am in this pen once again i press f6 i am in this menu area now it has actually activated the menu pen for example if i uh, press uh, n so i'll go in open the insert tab here you can see and if again i press f6 i am back and if i'm using the arrow keys oh now so i am actually in this pan right so these are three different pans i repeat f by once by pressing f6 i'm using the arrow keys now you can see you can see i am in this pan if i again press f6 i am using the uh, arrow keys now so i am in this pen and if i again press f6 i am in this pen so the arrow keys will work over there right the next one is f7 f7 is used for spelling checking if i press f7 it has actually do you want to uh, it has uh, uh, it is asking me do you want to continue checking at the beginning of the sheet yes okay so these are different options for spelling and grammar checking and recommendations so i may use it to actually correct the grammatical mistakes in my uh, document right the next one is the extend selection for example if i want to extend uh, what do we do we mean by extending the selection for example right now i have selected only one cell and i'm using mouse to drag it down so this is uh, sorry here it is okay now what if i want to do it without using the mouse or uh, i go to this cell i just press the f8 key and now i'll use this uh, arrow key and it will actually ex it is extending the selection and press escape and it will actually remove the 
that uh, selection okay so by using f8 key you can actually extend the selection without using the mouse okay the next thing is the uh, calculate all which is the function uh, f9 key uh, what do we mean by it uh, okay so in order to uh, make you understand this f9 key the use of f9 key i write some data over here 100 200 300 25 and 35 and i find the sum over here is equal to sum okay 660 now if i change this value to 200 the sum is supposed to be changed to 760 here i change it 200 but you can see the sum has not changed why because over here in uh, if you click on office button and you go to excel options in the formulas you can see the workbook workbook calculation is set to manual okay so if it is automatic it will change automatically but if it is by default set to manual it will not change so if you want to change it you just click on any of the cells in this range and press f9 here you see by just clicking the f9 function key the sum has automatically changed okay and the next function key is the f10 function key which is actually uh, used to activate the menu um, now here i press the f10 function key and you will see yeah here it is it has actually activated the menu for example if i want to open the data tab i'll simply press a and it will open the data tab and further it it is giving me different options right so f10 basically used to activate the menu now f11 uh, for example if i have some data uh, these are the marks of the subject english urdu maths physics chemistry and if i want if i just simply select all this data and press f11 key it will simply convert it to charts and provide me with all the different possible options of charts different uh, ways to express the chart different ways to actually convert charts to from one form to another form so here it is uh, the f11 key is directly used to uh, create a chart of the selected data right and the last key is the f12 key and f12 key is actually used to uh, perform the save as operation for example as this is an unsaved workbook so i click on f12 and it has opened me the save as a dialog box so these were the function keys i hope they are clear so inshallah uh, in the next few videos i will be exploring more features of ms excel stay tuned thank you so much students